among other things, but these conversations are like really important. Right? Well, that was pretty incredible, Adam. So um, I didn't think that could be done that way. And over the course of the next many months, you're going to be sharing a lot more clips like that. You're going to be going around the country to speak at, to talk at these events and to try to find what brings us together and, and talk about these things that are not there in the MAGA echo chamber. So I just want to hear from you because you've been traveling around the country and you've been at these events. What do you think is the best way to reach Trump supporters? Yeah, so one of my favorite strategies is to take liberal values and to wrap them in conservative rhetoric. So for example, with the clip I just showed you, if you have a Trump supporter saying, we need to stop funding Ukraine and put America first, you explain that funding Ukraine is exactly how we put America first. We're sending old stockpiled military equipment and creating new American jobs. And in the process, we get to defend the border of a sovereign country, one of our allies. We're also crippling the economy and the military of Russia and setting the precedent to people like Xi Jinping that you can't just invade your next door neighbor. So if you can wrap these values in conservative rhetoric and show that our interests lie in funding Ukraine, our interests lie in upholding the Constitution, like that first clip I showed, then a lot of times you can reach Trump supporters or at least plant that seed of doubt in their head. And that seed can be watered and can grow eventually, but I really do think it's important to just have them interact with fact patterns that they otherwise would not be interacting with. Yeah. yeah, you know, because what I've seen right-wing media do is they wrap the kind of the fascism, the extremism, the authoritarianism that is anathema to our values here in America, but they wrap them in the trappings of patriotism and rhetoric that people love here in America. And so they literally basically repackage and repurpose Vladimir Putin in the American flag. And, and, and here's the thing that I always say, you know, at the Midas Touch Network, we love democracy. We love our flag. We love the Constitution here, not just from the symbolism perspective, but from the actual uh, doing democracy. Democracy is tough work. Adam, I do want to share one more quick clip, though. I know we're going to have a lot of other videos that you're going to show, but I, I got to just show one more just so people know the great type of content that they're going to see here. So let me just play one other quick clip. Let's play. What percent of Americans do you think are transgender? I would say before it was cool to be transgender or uh, before it was probably like, uh, I would say 1.5 and now it's probably like 20%. 20%? Well, it's still 0.5%. Oh, okay, okay. I was pretty close to 1.5. Uh, let me ask you this. If an adult goes to the doctor with gender dysphoria and they try to decide on a treatment, do you think the government should be able to step in and stop that? Oh, no, no, not, not if they're paying for it. As long as, you know, they have their own insurance that they're paying for, I don't think a state, you know, uh, health insurance should have to pay for your, you know, your gender reassignment. You need to pay that you know, yourself. I don't, want, I don't want my tax dollars going towards that. So you're okay with people getting gender affirming care, though? Oh, yeah, 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 as long as I'm not paying for it. There's this whole new wave of eradicate transgenderism, which I think is a little too far in the opposite direction. Yeah. yeah. Girl, I, I have nothing against, you know, gay people or whatever you, whatever you, claim you are, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to live just the same every day. Yeah, that was great. And I'm so excited, Adam, for you to be a part of this network. I want to remind everybody um, to also check out Adam's YouTube channel. And I want everybody to subscribe to the Adam Mockler YouTube channel. Let's grow that. Adam's at 40,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get him to 100,000 subscribers. It's so important that we are facilitating here at the Midas Touch Network a Gen Z engine. And I think that Adam Mockler, you know how to not just reach out to Gen Z, but also how to reach across uh, echo chambers as well. Final words, but I know we're going to be hearing a lot more from you, Adam. Uh, final words, I'm incredibly excited to work with you guys. I'm incredibly excited for Biden to win re-election, to mobilize my generation, and I'm incredibly excited to provide you guys some high-quality content for me talking to Trump supporters. We're looking forward to it. Everybody, hit subscribe here. Let's get to 3 million on the Midas Touch Network. Remember to go now and check out Adam Bachler's YouTube channel as well.
Thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to more videos, Adam. Thank you. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com slash newsletter. So a minister, and I use that term very lightly, Bobby Leonard from the Bible Baptist Tabernacle in Monroe, North Carolina, has caused quite a stir because a video has resurfaced from a sermon of his last August where he stood up on his pulpit and had this to say. I used to say this, I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? If you dress like that and you got raped and I'm on that jury, he's going to go free. Yeah, he actually said that out loud. And he followed it up by saying, I'm right though. I can't help it if you don't like that I'm right, because you know a man's a man. And he said that part twice. A man's just going to be a man. I can't believe that we're still having to combat this ignorance and this stupidity in 2024, but we're still here because of people like Bobby Lynn. Let me go ahead and mm -hmm, do something. That was like good. Right Only took me six now, minutes. A well, six and a half. No one's business but hers. A woman is free to dress however the hell she wants to, and when she does, that does not in any way, shape, form, or fashion mean that she is inviting someone to rape her. I can't believe 